A World Cup season is chronicled in a myriad of manners. Time. The woman of the moment. Points. Greg Minar. Missed opportunities and clutch performances. But our narrative device today is much simpler. It's something so commonplace that every two-wheeled vehicle on planet Earth requires it to function. The tyre. You know I run the streets, in a fast life, you know what it's gonna be. Ride up in my environment. Always keep it cheap, you know I run the streets, in a fast life, you know what it's gonna be. Flat tire, yeah. I mean, that's the. That's probably the worst word for bike mechanic. But I'd rather crash, actually, and crash hard than just flat, because you, you can't do anything when you're flat. Lots of us just, we didn't ride at all in the wet all week, and, and then it rained like proper rain. And the track was not ready for it. There's no grip. The dirt is clay, and the rocks are ice. Man, he goes down in a straight line. You can put whatever tire you want, it's the same. I could have been riding the road bike, it would have been as slippery. And it's Alexandra Fayol and Rachel Atherton start the season with a win. This year, especially in Fort William, we readjust a little bit the pressure, put it a little bit higher. The rider go really fast and it's hard to have a grip, uh, efficient bike. The balance is really hard to get. Minar is going to take his seventh win in Fort William and there's no luck about it. Leo Gang, for example, is a typical track where people were riding with the semi slick. Pretty much no rubber on top and just on the side, so the thing just rolled, but just never really break well. Tony Seagrave, Aaron Quinn takes the win! On the steep track like Andorra, you need something really good for braking. I rode with uh, mud tires and then I moved to dry, but both were good. Those little curls are going to affect the grip. They are able to separate a little bit. You kind of suck all the rocks, so it's really good for the grip. The crowd respond. Nicole crosses the line fastest. 5, 4, 6, it's close. Brosnan takes the win! To me, I've been really not happy about my grip in Nancy Hyde. Oh! The only difference we have was the back. We cut a little bit the knobs, because higher the knobs are, you can feel the bike floating around when they go really fast. See, Aaron, for example, he was flying, he was going to win for sure, and then he just lost everything. Oh, it's a flat! It's a flat rear tire! Here comes Miriam Nicole, she's gonna smash that time! Greg Minar took his 21st World Cup win here today. So that brings us to a racetrack built by time and erosion. A venue with a record of insulting wheels more harshly than any presidential tweet ever could. The Belle Province, Quebec, Canada. It's weird because Finn and Miranda are Canadians, but they're not from here at all. It is far away from home, but I mean, it's still Canada. It's just the French are Canada. When I met Miranda, she was the best girl ever. So, so rad. She's always smiling, and the laugh is so communicative. <laughs> <laughs> At the start, I always like to make her laugh because her laugh helped me to do good on my run. I think there is some season we haven't seen each other because she's like me, she had so many injuries. So you and I may want personality and spectacle, but the Downhill World Cup is actually an exercise in the art of speed. And the unavoidable reality of crashing is what makes this sport so captivating and so cruel. There's like phases of injuries. Every time, like it's the same things that I feel. First you get injured. 
usually like you're on the side of the track. You don't want it right when it happens. You're like, oh, it's probably not that bad. Like, probably be fine. I crashed and hurt my knee in Fort William. You know, I've been there six times. I've only finished twice. And then you go through like this like positive stage where you're like, oh yeah, it's gonna be great. It's like only six weeks. Everything that could have been wrong this year, I have been wrong with her. You're at like the five week mark and you're just like real depressed and like, you're like, it's never gonna heal. But I feel like she's not too far from finding her pace again and just riding with the knee in her mind so much and she couldn't really push that much. I'm just looking forward to the weekend. It's one of my favorite tracks. I just like how fast you can go. Like second lap, you're going like, you going too fast. Like, <laughs> you know that what you're doing is what you want to do when you know it's taken away from you and you don't just kind of give up. You realize that I do want to keep racing. And then yeah, then all of a sudden you just, one day you're fine. You may Miranda Miller now. Fighting back from injury again, three broken wrists actually in the last three years. She likes the big jabs and gets across it. She goes in a second, I think. Yes, she does. Tani Seagrave now, the winner of round three in Leergang, Austria. This looks good. Clean, nice lines through the rocks. Here comes Seagrave. She goes fastest by 12.75. I didn't finish any season for the last three years. In the white leader's jersey, Miriam Nicole. For the moment, I'm doing it right, and I'll stay focused until the end. Here we go. Miriam Nicole goes across the line second, but it's Tani Seagrave with her second World Cup win of 2017. Women and men, smooth or rough. Downhill racing requires a complex psychological calculation. Convince oneself that skill outweighs both speed and risk. But a rider's self-conviction typically doesn't deal well with chaos and unpredictability. It was massive rain. I've rarely had a ride in these conditions. When I got to the start of the warm-up, I was like, God damn, it's not gonna happen today. You know, it's impossible. It looks really hard. I was looking at the screen over there. I could see Laurie and the guys riding, and they were just 15 seconds away. This might be a wild one. Didn't say anything, these up. Alexandra fail. 34th place. Verge loses a bit more time now. Can anyone beat that time of Dean Lucas? I didn't want to crash or anything, so I was okay. Don't try anything stupid again. Just go smooth. And then Troy was riding, and everyone was like, wow. And he's pulling on Lucas. Look at that. I went to see the screen, and he was riding really good, actually, and he was in touch. I think it's going to be close. Yes, he goes in a third place. What well, a monumental effort from Troy Brosnan. Danny Hart win this race for the second year in a row. The conditions are against him, but Danny Hart is delivering. Now's the time, no delay. Gonna get going now, there's no more time to wait. Is he gonna go fastest? He goes just second. Point three six back. A rider doing the impossible. Because it's time, it's time. We eat the beat and heat the street. Gotta keep moving, zooming. Oh! Both wheels sliding. Gonna move quick, gotta move faster. Gotta speed up, gonna move faster. Time is time, it has no mind. The Frenchman on fantastic form again. Here he comes then. He's outside that time of Lucas. He goes third. Rudy, though, a magnificent performance. Yeah, it was insane. Like, he's just gone here all wet. You see nothing. I was like, okay, let's go. I was so coming out the line and there. I was like, wow. Only one man left at the top of this mountain. Oh, this is Aaron Gwynn we're talking about. Right across the grass up the inside. He's up by two seconds. This is crazy. He looks gold. Big mistake. Risky move still has the speed to get up over that jump there. Oh, my word, it will be a miracle if he can do this. Oh, 
possible here in Montserrat and Canada. Now there remains but a single race. One race for both the women and the men that will decide the World Cup. Our story will end there. But how it ends is yet to be written.